be a man, grow some balls, grow some cojones, and go down there and protect your people. I'm not chilling with the nine. If I feel like you're about to try to hurt me, I'm not be like, oh, let me get my man. Nah, bitch, you down. Ass, ass, titties, titties. <laughs> money, 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 shooting, shooting. Weed, 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 I'm feeling it. Hop on this beat now. I'm feeling it. Uh, pulling the team in the area, ran with a group. Now I'm doing this real shit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Get sturdy, real quick. Yeah, just like glory, real shit, man. Why you talking? Who But uh, the next question is right. Would you rather? Yeah, would you rather be in a traditional relationship or a modern relationship? Who wants to go first? I've been in a traditional relationship. I've been in a traditional relationship. Personally, I'm not fucking with it. I like modern relationships. Some, huh? It's just something like slight normal. Like, like I've no problem. Like traditional people, I love, I love, I love my traditional people. You know what I'm saying? You got your own beliefs. You got your own set of rules. I'm fine with that. But like I'm just saying, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like date you. Like y'all happy? Y'all be having good. Yeah, y'all be having good personalities. It's just that like, I don't. Like, I don't want to go through all the, you know, because I've seen it all. I've done it all. Not all, not all, but like, yeah. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. Traditions are very restrictive, my nigga. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't think anybody should live traditionally in that sense when it comes to gender roles and and and. The wife, the wife cooks and cleans and shit like that. That just sounds stupid as fuck to me. Like, I mean, like I said before, it's just like she's a human being too. Like, if I'm, if she gonna make me a sandwich, I'm gonna make her one too. You feel me? Look, if she gonna suck my dick, I'm gonna eat her pussy back. You feel me? Like, I'm not gonna. It's all about fair exchange, no robbery. You feel me? Um, I'm not gonna withhold her from doing what she wants to. Oh, she can't, she can't um have her own job. She make, she, she can't, she can't make her own money. What the hell do I look like saying that to a girl nowadays, bruh? I look dumb as hell. Because look, 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 look. If I get sick, right, and we still in a traditional fucking household, she doesn't, she doesn't have no job, you feel me? She can't take care of me. If I go broke, nigga, we're fucked. We are done. But if we both have jobs, I go broke, and she loves me enough to support me, which I hope the guy she does, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cause you never know what happens when you get in that situation, but if it happens and she does want to do that, it's like she has no job. Like I, 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 I really just fucked myself, and it, it's like where is 2022 going on in 2023? You still expect tradition, my nigga? What are you? Are you? Are you dumb? <laughs> yeah, boomer, literally. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you dumb as hell. I agree. You know what I'm saying. Um, I feel. I feel personally though that. We haven't been in relationships where we're in the same house together, as in completely financially dependent of our parents. Well, some of us, at least. Um, I'm definitely, you know what I'm saying? I'm still living with my grandma, so, you know what I mean? Um, and me personally, I don't even want to put a label on the type of relationship that I want because every person's type of relationship is different. Truth be told, I don't pay attention to a lot of what the outside world has going on. Um, I, you know, I find myself deleting Twitter, Instagram, da, da, da. Like, I haven't had those apps for a while. You know what I mean? Um, unless it's to, like, promote or post music. But after that, I end up deleting it again. But anyways, um, because, like, I feel like what a lot of modern relationships do is they see a good couple or a cute couple, let's say, right, together. And they're like, oh, my God. I want to be like, right, 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 Beyonce and Jay-Z. Jay-Z cheated on Beyonce. How the fuck do you cheat on Beyonce? I just, I, you, I, you know, I, I don't, I, like, like, bro, like, I don't care who it is. You got you. Um, so, so literally, like, my, like, so that's why I don't even be like modern versus traditional relationship whatever uh, whatever works for us is gonna be best um and when it comes to relationships i feel like one thing that a lot of modern people suck at 
is conflict because a lot of them don't realize that conflict is going to be a part of the relationship like arguments and stuff like that now it now it shouldn't be beyond a certain point because then like y'all don't even like each other while y'all together you know what i mean like but but um you know you learn some of them like you learn the most stuff you know when it comes to you know an argument um with your especially if you've been together for a while yeah like you learn more than you thought you could ever understand about that person yeah you know i mean um yeah you know so i feel i just want you know love and right now you know that's that's what i have so you know i'm gonna continue for that you know for you like as a nigga with a, a, a female, bro, or a woman, or whatever you want to call them, um, <laughs> that's crazy as hell. As a nigga with a girlfriend, right, I don't do what the world tells me to do in terms of our relationship. I do what we want to do, you feel me? I do what's necessary for us. I don't try to bend to the constrictions of society, because if you do that, the love won't be true, and it's not going to work out. Like that's, that's, that's just dumb as hell to me just, just Whatever y'all two Come together and say y'all wanna do That's y'all agreement That's what y'all wanna do Don't let nobody else Come in and try to change that You feel me? Like that's just dumb as hell I was gonna say I'm not traditional at all I feel like The way that we all live our lives now Does not reflect how people lived their lives 40 years ago I'm in college A black woman In college 40 years ago I, I don't know what to say like a lot of my great grandmother's highest high like the highest education she got was sixth grade so for me to be like yeah i want a traditional relationship would be kind of like self-sabotaging myself because that's not something that i personally fit in and if i find a partner um who would want that i feel like i'm not truly being myself and at that point that relationship isn't healthy so it's all about doing what you want to do as long as it doesn't harm nobody. Um, now, I'm not saying pull a Nick Cannon. Having like 27 children in one day. Like, I, I understand. I, the one thing I do appreciate about Nick Cannon is that he's not following the traditional rules when it comes to relationships. And he is able to financially support his children. But that does not mean he is able to emotionally support his children and stuff like that or be there for his kids. But if people want to have a polyamorous relationship in that way, go ahead and do it because at the end of the day as long as it's not illegal or harming anybody there's no reason to really trip over anything i feel like people just take so much stuff that they see so sensitively and to heart when honestly you would make a lot more money not worrying about somebody else i'm just saying i'm just saying get your money up not your funny up amen a lot of funny up <laughs> but um about the about the traditional and uh modern though how do y'all feel about submissive, like submissive and dominant? Like, you know how people describe their traits? I thought, did we? Yeah, we oh shit, I lost track. I feel like this is the most confusing generation because we're the most, we're the most complicated yet sensitive at the same time. We, because, because there are certain things that, like, don't get me wrong. All right, yo. Oh, definitely bad way. I mean, I like I okay. I feel like we take politically correctness to a certain level because, like, like don't get me wrong. You know, I'm not a fan of you know like the whole any form of discrimination. You know, I'm not a fan of you know. Yeah, exactly. You know. Um. Oh, oh, he made graduation. Like, sorry. Bam. No, so, so, bro, I feel like a lot of people, especially nowadays, pay attention to what other people got going on. Why? We are so. You know how lonely we are as a generation, yet we're the most technologically advanced. We have millions of ways to contact each other. But when we're in person, I see groups of people here all the time sitting two inches from each other, but they be on their phones individually. And it's like, 
it's like or, or no 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 like basic like like put the fucking thing down bro it's 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 not going it's it's not it's not going anywhere you know what I mean it'll be in your pocket you know how much time goes by when you're scrolling like that that should be blow like in moderation a lot of people don't have that you know we're we're easily addicted people um because you know our parents were easily addicted people too but the shit they were addicted to were like alcohol cigarettes if you smoke cancer sticks you suck as a human being all right bro hold on hold on, now, hold on now. Well, well well not like that but like it's stupid you're literally putting your life on the line stop it in the in the, in the words of the late andrew tate just breathe air nigga what are you doing what are you doing I have a serious question. How are you drowning? Just breathe. Just, but I, I had an actual. Oh, okay. awesome. No, I had, a, I, I had an actual thing. What you were saying about how people are like really sensitive. I feel like sensitivity is a good thing to an extent. It's just like when I'm on the internet and I see someone being racist, of course I want someone to be like, hey, you're being racist. Stop that. And like say something to them. But at the same time, it's just like we don't have to attack everyone. Like sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. Some things just come out wrong. So, no, dark humor, <laughs> dark humor, like is one thing. But at a certain point, we all ourselves have to have boundaries with people say around us, right? But it's just like for me, I I I like to go against what people say sometimes, um, but more in a debate way versus going against them as I'm attacking you because a lot of people are on like. Uh, they're on like that fine line. It's just like I'm ready to jump at somebody. Yeah. I also feel like people listen to respond instead of actually just listening to hear the person out because when we have conversations i feel like you should let me speak and i let you speak and we you know we can go back and forth in that way but when it's like i'm just yelling and i'm mad because i heard something that i didn't like without like for me i i have like i have adhd which i'm also on the spectrum too so when i don't understand something i just ask what do you mean by that right yeah because especially like the older generations they assume that you know exactly what they mean they be talking in riddles and shit be like the hidden message is here and i'm just like what hidden message like <laughs> you, like just like you don't understand what i'm saying you never it's just like we as a society expect each other to read each other's minds when we know that that's not possible and if it is possible wouldn't we be a little more like aligned with each other you know what i'm trying to say um i will say it is our our um, past as well like we do have some people who are too i would say passive in their lifetime to where certain things like we shouldn't have to check every racist person like there should be something like there should be something better for people or to protect people from racist people or stuff like that because there's no reason why someone can get away with killing black people and, and that's okay like that's something that we need to look at is like okay well i understand that people back then black people especially were oppressed back then and women were oppressed back then but let's let's look at why let's look at why and why didn't you do something during your time and they're like oh you guys are so like you guys are so sensitive. I mean, to be fair, I shouldn't have to hear a white person call me a hard R in public. Yeah. And it's just like, I shouldn't have to deal with that. But it's like, I understand that things were, just because something is normalized does not make it okay. And that's what we need to differentiate. It's just like, racism back then, what Trump did, like when he's doing right now, he's always been doing. It's just like now we have people who want to call him out for the stuff that he's doing and making him a bigot and people are educating each other. But back then they're just like, I know people, white people who really believe in Trump's ideologies because they're like, oh, well, he's a Republican and blah, 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 and he's trying to help us. But then he's like, oh, he will say something blatantly racist. And people are like, he's not racist. What? <laughs> he's, he, apparently all Im immigrant Mexican-Americans, not, not Mexican-Americans, all Mexicans that are immigrants are rapists, apparently. That that doesn't make any sense. I'm trying to end in a fucking laugh, bro. I, you said Mexican and then you're trying to say nigga, like what? No, but I'm trying to say like there can't be Mexican niggas. 
I mean, there can be. I'm not judging. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Go ahead, continue. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying that at a certain point, like we need to correct ourselves. It, a lot of us have a lot of misogynistic views sometimes, and we just don't understand that until someone points that out for us. Um, for me, I could be misogynistic against men too. Like it's it's just something that we need to, as a society, help each other because we're bad as a collective. We, like we we still have very primal things where we're anger driven and we don't understand that majority of the way that we communicate with others is from eternal stuff not because of external stuff like a lot of people f their first reaction is anger because they're actually pained by something else but they want to indirectly deal with it some some way else uh, i feel like i feel like it's a generation of traumatized people and traumatized people you know what i mean because i've had my you know fair share of trauma you know um childhood trauma and stuff like that and it's affected the way i spoke to people you know responded to things and everything like that all niggas are weird bro um and and so what it is is what are y'all doing fool just, just to let y'all know, no, no, I'm be keeping it being with y'all. It's nothing. Like I completely, like I'm listening to everything that they're saying. It's behind the camera that y'all, that y'all not saying. Bro, we are not laughing at trauma, bro. It's exactly. just like it's a ass big. monkeys behind. <laughs> us. These dead. little monkeys mic. behind us want to act. Trauma's not a thing to laugh about, folks. Okay, maybe it is sometimes, but dark humor exists. Dark humor, dark humor is. But on the on the topic of dark humor. Hey, for the people at home, I cannot explain to you what that joke means, but what he just said behind the camera, that was out of pocket. Yeah, that's like years of years and years of trauma. Um, but let me let me say something. On the topic of dark humor, you can you can joke about anything, and I mean anything. You feel me? It all depends on how you say it and who you say it to. Like if you go up to a a, a girl in a wheelchair, right? And, and you know she can't handle dark humor, and you and you and you, and you say some shit like, "Oh, that sh that shit got nitros on it." Like you got, you got autopilot. That's crazy. You feel me? But if if if, if you know she can take it, then say it to her. You know, like it all depends on the. Door. Like I don't even I don't even mind if a white person calls me a nigga, bruh, in the right context. Oh, calm down, calm down. Wait, 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 no, wait, I'm not messing. Wait, with wait, 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 wait. Give me that. Give me that shit. Give me that shit. Because look. It's just a word to me, right? And if you can use it in a funny manner, I'm gonna laugh at that shit. If I know it's not in a, like a a, a demeaning, a and a, yeah, in a, in a demeaning way, I'm fine with you, bro. But if you call me a or a nigga, edit that out, bro. If you call me a nigga with aggression, I gotta. Then I got a problem with you, bro. Um, but yeah, comedy. The nigga behind the camera, I swear to God. Uh, but um. Comedy, comedy has no boundaries, bro. It just depends on how you cut the corners. You feel me? It depends on your. Audience. Literally, all right. So look, I can agree with you. If somebody says, like, if a white person calls me that N word, like, calls me a nigga, in like a funny way, like if they say the joking matter, I'll be mad, but like, my laughter will outweigh the like, my anger. You feel me? You, you understand what I'm saying, all right? But like, what's it called? If you call me like a nigga or. You're getting pieced up immediately. I'm not even going to say you're wrong. You're just, I'm just going to make you. Because you should know that you're not supposed to be saying that. Especially in that manner. Intermission, fool. That's my daughter! 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 That's my Question of the day is valid or not valid? Cats. Valid, bro. Cats be a vibe. Cats are a vibe. Like, like I used to have a couple. You know what I'm saying? I had a cat. His name was Lamar. It's fat as fuck. That was my nigga. Long dick Lamar Davis? Long dick Lamar Davis. All right. So today I'm here with... Miles. Kayla. Jennifer. Stop the cat. Umu. Dad? I haven't seen you in years. And you just show up here with your tie all messy, your hair looking white. What are you, you doing? 
<laughs> and where's the fucking milk, huh? I'm sorry, I drunk it. I was thirsty. It was a long way back from Arkansas. Yeah, 13 years? Arkansas? <laughs> well, how, how old are you now? I'm 17. You're almost legal. I came back in time. I'm gonna tell mom. You know she has a new husband now? We thought you were dead. <laughs> are you fucking laughing? She got a new husband? Yeah. That old hag well, got a new okay. husband? Husband's a strong word. You're like, why? Yeah, she, she did. <laughs> she wasn't always dead. I should have fucking known. That's why sex was so bad. It's been 13 years. How do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> because it stank. It stank. That's why I left, okay? No, no, no. It's cool, though. It could be a part of like. Oh, yeah. We, it could be a little funny take yeah. bro. Yeah. yeah. Take off. I'm going to be in this. I can't. Sorry, I should rest be in peace, my brother. I should be in this. Yeah, rest in peace. Bro, respectfully, over dice. Like, y'all niggas are dumb. Like, stop shooting. Like, I, no, that shit pisses me off. I'm on that subject now. Like, stop shooting. It's stupid. Like, no, like, they got no, like, y'all really got no, because y'all really got to understand. Lily, if you shoot somebody, their man's just going to retaliate you. The violence is never going to stop. You, like, do y'all, does it not cross your, does it not cross your mind that, like, you're Lily? Hey, do you want to get on camera, bitch? Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. But no, but no, like I'm saying, like, it's just stupid. Y'all causing another, like, if y'all was to die, and all the sadness, all the grieving that you'll be putting your family through, you're putting that, you're putting all that suffering and pain into another family. Like, like, come, like, literally, just settle, just settle your beef with your hands, like box, or or get the box, or get the gloves, get the gloves. You can't kill, you can't really. Yeah. All right, bro. That move. You know what? You're right. All right, here you go. I feel like I feel like this necessity for violence is kind of crazy. Um, like I mean I mean it's always gonna be here. Like sometimes, but 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 like a lot of stuff. Okay, like 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 a lot of stuff. But it's just because we have a society of people that aren't that smart. Like like like, hey hey, let's be real. Let's be real. We have a society of people that are not that smart. Exactly. Niggas are kind of dumb, so 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 they result to violence a lot of times, you know. Yeah. One of the nah, this is one thing I really gotta talk about because it really it's been throwing me off ever since I heard about it. When P and B rock died, y'all nigga y'all couldn't let the nigga eat his food. Really? Y'all couldn't let the nigga? No, no, I'm no, no, I'm getting my point across. Y'all cannot let the nigga eat his food. Y'all shoot my man. He had chicken and waffles. That's the best shit to eat, and y'all couldn't let him eat his food. Like literally, like like how much dick, like no no no, cause they're on dicks. Like literally, dicks, dicks, they're on dicks. Why are you shooting people? Why? What is the purpose of a gun? Like dicks, like just straight dicks. Around P and B Rock's death, right? You know, a lot of people have been blaming his girlfriend for leaking the note, like for leaking, you know, the location. You know what I'm saying? Respectfully, y'all could put it on his girlfriend, but I personally wouldn't. Like. That, that's unfair. That, it's unfair to really put it on this girl. Because, because, look, because check us out. It's fucked up because like just because I'm tied to someone that's famous or whatnot, all of a sudden I gotta act like I'm not a regular fucking person. You know what I mean? I can't act like I'm excited to be at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, like is that shit bust? Should be busting. No, busting, 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 busting. But anyways. Niggas need to take accountability for their own actions. So it's just like, why won't you blame the nigga who shot him? It doesn't matter what the situation is. Mm -hmm. Blame the victim for something. That would be like Ariana Grande and um, was uh, not Pete Davidson. Um, uh, white boy, Mac Miller. <laughs> How he overdosed? He's like, you left him. Da -da -da. He was doing drugs. You expect, and the thing is, why do you expect a woman to stay with a man knowing that that's not good for her? If she herself does not want to do drugs, why would I be around somebody doing drugs? Exactly, like, well, you left him and he he died. He could have killed himself in the relationship and y'all would still blame her. Honestly, Juice was a girlfriend. I'm gonna talk about that a little bit. She's been going on. She, she has been going on. Number one, number one, she's white, she's not black. 
She said the N-word. I'm not jacking that at all. Threw me off. Um, it was not funny. It was not funny. When I when I heard her say it, when I heard her say it, I was like, huh? I was like, did she? I was like, <laughs> like I was like, did she say? I was like, did she say nigga was at the song? Yeah, but like that's that's not. It's not funny. Why why'd you say the N word? It's not. Don't find you funny. You're not like you're not black. Like like in the in the great in the great words of Mike. Oh, lulu, lulu, lulu. <laughs> you're not black. <laughs> Wait, 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 cause, cause, cause I'm, I'm laying my hand this way, and then he laying his hand that way, this nigga, this nigga over here touching my hand and shit, like, this nigga right here, he's a good nigga, he's a good, but yes, in the great, but yes, in the, wait, wait, chill, in the great words of Mike, like, she was not black, she had no use to say the n-word, second thing, you're 19, you're 29, about to go into your 30s, Thing, She's 20. Yes, number one, you're not black. Number two, you're not black. And number three, and most importantly, you're not black. You ain't black. You are not a nigga. <laughs> but nah, but nah, but like she's 29, dating a 19 year old. That is weird. That is weird. She's 29, dating a 19 year old. So you're telling me that's so you tell me that's that's acceptable? That that's acceptable? That's not ex like. You, like were Thank you. Aren't you still a child? Shut up. Exactly. Anyways, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but 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 for real, like you're not like, like be honest with me. Do you find that acceptable? For a 29 year old to date a 19 year old, do you find that acceptable? Fucking no, bro. And 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 and, and I'm not. And and it's on both sides. It's not just like. A young girl with an older guy, you know, like nineteen and twenty nine. It's also like a young guy with an older girl, like because because that ten year difference, right? Y'all be like, oh, age is just a number. Age, bro, bro, bro. A ten year difference. A ten year difference. Ten year difference, bro. Right? 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 Literally, li you know, they have ten years experience advantage over you. They can manipulate you to do in any way possible. Number one, number two, that's kind of weird. Like, 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 what, what does a 19 year old have in common with a 29 year old? When you're 29, right? When you're 29, I'm if I'm if I'm near 30, I'm not friends with no nobody that's not 23. I mean, not 25. Why? What? Like, why do I need children around me if they're not my own? Like imagine having a conversation with like a like like, like oh, imagine having a conversation with you. Like, oh yeah, I just got a new girlfriend. How old is she? How old is she? Oh, she's twenty nine. How old are you? Oh, I'm nineteen. Like bro, like, that's like bro, like like, like like okay, auntie. Like why are you why are you you know what I mean? Like I mean, don't get me wrong. Some dudes you know like what they like, but like I don't know, bro. I like them seasoned and shit. Like bro, I don't care like don't you're care. weird like so i realized something when i try to date older a lot of them will be like little girl i'm just like little girl what you went to what and and then i'm gonna say this too i remember we were talking about like you know porn and stuff like that a lot of these people who they be watching and stuff like that they'd be like 18 year olds and stuff like that they're not even 18 sometimes they're like 16 14 years old they're not even legal <laughs> I'm about to beat your ass, but I swear to God. Yeah. Exactly. Weird. And it's just like, why are, why are you, like, a lot of people who consistently date younger people, I feel like they're just like, well, I know that I have this wisdom, whatever, and I can help them. But really, it's, in my opinion, it's grooming. Because it's just like, there's no reason why a 26-year-old would be like, you da -da 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 -da, and they're, like, really controlling towards me. And I'm just like, okay, I get, like, I'm 21. <laughs> Nigga, can you shut the fuck up? For like five seconds. I'll be about to beat <laughs> But, um... Uh, here you go, here you go. I'll be back. <laughs> Not y'all jumping him. Oh, no. But, um, for real, though, on the, on the 19 to 29 shit, though, I had something to say on that. Yeah. It's like... I should whoop your ass for the free. What, like... I'm thinking about, like, who are we to judge because they're both adults and they're both in legal He's consent age. Yeah, but he's 19. She's 29.
for legal reasons. I need to clarify and add context to the previous statement. Now obviously it's not right for a 19 year old to date a 29 year old. However, as we live in this fucked up society, some people nowadays are normalizing outrageously large age gaps, which is wrong and disgusting in many ways. Now to clarify, what I'm saying is that some people will assume a person is judging their dating preferences simply because they, respectfully, think that something isn't right when they are dating someone older or younger, when clearly, in this context, it's fucking weird to date someone 10 years older than you. So I'm judging. I'm, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, okay, it's not like, my business. It's not my business, so but that's I'm not, not right. So I'm not going to stay fixated on it, but, but it's I'm not. judging. I mean, I'm just going to call you weird. No, 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 and call it's it weird. Is it right, would you accept that? Would you do that? No, 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 no. Listen, 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 listen. I'd like, I've met somebody that was 18 dating like a, what, like a 40-year-old? What that's the? That's crazy. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm calling the cops. I'm calling the cops on you for enabling that shit. Bro. No, look. I tried to tell him like you're dating a fucking forty year old, bro. You're a victim. You're you're a victim. You're a victim. I tried to tell him. No, look. Here's the thing. You, you said that's what they like. Is that acceptable? Would you do that? Knock. Sit right here. Sit right here. Come sit right here. You look like you date. You look like you do. You look like you date milfs. You look like you date milfs. So tell me, would you? Are are you? Damn. Damn. <laughs> Children Bro, y'all are literally. You are a victim. <laughs> Wait, answer this question. Answer this question. But do you do you like a lot? Are you okay with Juice World's girl? No, I'm not. Saying. Are you okay with Juice World's girlfriend? No, I'm not saying I'm okay are with you? it, but in some scenarios, they just don't care. Like, they both like both partners don't. Care. Just but that's just stupid. It's weird. I mean, yeah. But it's like some some people don't care. Like some people don't. Hey, hey, hey. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm gonna keep it a buck. It's weird. It's a lot. A lot of the stuff that's happening in the world is weird. But I kind of don't care, bro. I, I'm not even. I'm not even gonna hold because 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 I got like I, I've been I've been on like a individual journey and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And so you know a lot of people. The reason why a lot of people have such strong opinions about things is because they put their time and effort into trying to change other people. And what they need to be doing is look inside of a damn mirror. Now, that 19 to 29 shit is weird. You know, if you're eight, you know, if, you know, I feel like especially between the ages of 18 and like 23, maybe three year difference is kind of like a thing. Like, I mean, three year difference between like, say, two or three. Right. You know what I mean? Like, if you're 18, the oldest you should go is, like, 21. I, and, okay, let me say something real quick on that. I ain't really have to Okay, that. so, now, I understand maturity does go into that, but it's just, like, as a 21-year-old, why am I looking at an 18-year-old like that? Because some 18-year-olds are still in high school. Still. But that's what I'm trying to say. I'm, in, I'm about to graduate college, and I'm looking at someone who's not even fully finished with high school. I'm better than that. A part of me, like, I took that in a whole different way. I'm just like, I understand that their grade's lower than me, but, like, not even like that. No, because the grade, like, they're lower grade. But, so it's just like, I, I know what you mean. But I'm just saying, for me, like, to even really think in that kind of way, like, if I'm looking for a partner, why would I look at someone who's literally just starting to learn what life actually is? You literally just got, not even probably, just got out of high school. And I'm just thinking, like, you don't, Experience life the way that I do. And, they, and some dudes be like, you know, she's hot. So like, yeah, I should, I should, I should fuck up whatever she. Is. I should, I should. I'm not saying you don't know nothing, but it's just like I'm on two different life paths than you. I'm graduating college. You're just going into college. You have life to experience for yourself outside of having someone a lot older than you trying to be like, oh, you should do this, you should do that, you should live life for yourself. Now, if you want to date somebody the same age as you or you're, you know, older than you, whatever, that's one thing. But for you to date somebody three years older in this time, like if I was twenty, if I was twenty five dating a twenty seven year old. That's okay. Because we already graduated college, most likely. We've been working. We have our own things and all that stuff. We're on the same path of life. Exactly. But there are people who are 30 years old. And the reason why they date 18-year-olds and stuff like that is because they're mentally just not there. They're mentally like, well, I want someone who can deal with the stuff that I've been doing. Because people, women my age will not deal with that kind of stuff. Yeah. And it's just like some people still living with their mom. And there's nothing wrong with living with your mom, but don't expect somebody to accept you and be like, oh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a deal with this because not everybody, everybody has standards. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody wants a man who lives with their mother. It's one thing if you're taking care of your mother, but people can still be like, mm, I don't really want to have your mom in the house while we're together. 
You know what I'm trying to say? But for you to be like, oh yeah, I just got out of high school, da, 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 and I'm just like, I work a full time job. You went high school? That's disgusting. I, but I'm trying. How you, how you work? I, I know, that, and this is exactly why I don't listen to you. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, you can have a really. I, when I was, I graduated high school when I was 17 years old. I mean, I just graduated early, but you know, that's what it is. But it's just like, I also dated somebody who was my age, but he graduated a year after me because I just, I just skipped a grade. Like, that's the only difference, right? But we were in the same grade together at the same time. And I was like, I don't really feel like having a senior year. So I just graduated early. But then I realized having that gap in that relationship you're still in high school and i'm in college it does it does make a difference and especially because we're on two different life paths i'm still trying to figure out who i am whereas 29 year old knows more about who they are because they already had their 20s so it's just weird for someone that much older than you you know what i'm trying to say i wouldn't have a like as a 19 because at, at the age i'm at now the only reason for associating with people 10 years older than me is because I they're like uh, they're right right professors mentors or da 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 and if I have anything to do with it someone ten years younger than me then it's like you know like say like 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 because I'm twenty right so so it'd be like so say like if there's a ten year old child or whatnot no weird shit no I promise no weird shit right for legal reasons we promise no weird shit. No. But 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 like but like you know like be like a mentor to that person or da 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 like that is it those gaps in ages that is probably one of the only justifiable justifiable things for even having them around yeah you know I mean or if you're like a teacher or some shit but like but like but like but like yeah yeah exactly take a look at take a look at like um high school relationships you know like a senior dating a freshman that's still wrong weird. it's still wrong right in it you're still weird that's that's you're, that's, you're, that's you're, you're bugging you're bugging you're bugging you're bugging you're a fresh out of middle school you're about to go into college and, and you and you want to start and you want to start dating somebody that just came out of middle school are you dumb no 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 because look 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 because i because i've seen because when i went to because i went across the street right I went and I saw like so many seniors trying to hit on like freshmen and shit. They're predatory. Dead ass. And it's like, what the fuck are y'all doing? Like you got you got college preparation to do. You got graduation to fucking do. What the fuck are you doing hitting on 14 year olds, bro? Yeah, when I was younger, I used when I was younger, I used to hang with my dad all the time. So I was I'm used to hanging out around older people. So it made me think like, oh, I'm kinda like it made me feel like, you know you're what I'm saying? Up, you're grown. Yeah, it made me feel like I was. It made me feel like I was wrong because I, I usually hang around older people and stuff like that. So like, when I hang around college kids, it's like when I, I'm not calling y'all kids enough. But when I hang around college people, it made me. I don't think about oh, they older than me, you know stuff like. Because I, I like to think okay, we're at like. You you feel like you're at the same level. Exactly, because yeah. it's like. This guy, he just came out of high school, so it's like, you know what I'm saying? All right, bro, it why doesn't. Put, why you gotta put my business out there? You put my business out there too. What you saying? The Trump thing Trump. I'm saying though, I'm you. The thing I'm saying though. Exactly. The thing I'm saying though is. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's. I mean, let's be real here though. Like, he he just got out of high school. I'm about to get out of high school. Okay. Ooh, ooh, hold on. Listen, I'm just saying, you shouldn't treat me <laughs> right. You could have just said Joe, but no, no. Glory. Oh, okay, okay. Everybody knows my name is Glory. Ooh, ooh, okay, ooh, everybody ooh. now. Everybody know who I am. What? I think everybody's. No, nobody. No, nobody know who you are. I just got here. Anybody what are you saying? <laughs> I just got here. But nah, yeah, that's that's kind of my perspective on the whole thing. So I don't think of y'all as oh y'all are my elders. I still respect y'all. Don't get me wrong, but I don't think of y'all as like oh y'all are like uh, y'all are like my you know what I'm exactly. No, it's it's not a superiority thing. It's more of I f I feel like if okay for example for example for example as a grown person who's trying to do let's say I'm trying to buy a house right that's my priority. I want to buy a house. This nigga's still laughing. <laughs> Get up. Go, go to time out, bro. I, okay, like like I was saying, it's one thing I understand sometimes where it's just like people look 
a certain age so if you look older than what you are i get it somebody be like oh talking to you whatever you know what i'm trying to say because there was one guy who was saying like oh he, he saw this girl thought she was pretty was talking to her about stuff and then she said her open her mouth about high school and he walked away yeah and i'm just like okay i understand because there's some people i've seen who look older than me who are 17 like literally yeah so it's just like when if i'm talking to somebody and they look like 23 and they tell me oh i'm 18 i'm like oh, I, I gotta go like i gotta go because at, at that point i feel like me being ahead of you and me like and it's at a, yeah it's just like if i'm ahead of you in life and i'm trying to get this done and i'm and you're not at that part of your life yet it's either i'm gonna either try to dictate you to have yourself at that part of my life because i'm just like i don't really want to date somebody who's like more childish than me so some people will try to mold you into something else because you're young i got a question i got like a question real quick how is it wrong to ask a woman their age but it's not wrong to ask a man their age what um okay well no 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 because in a lot of situations right yeah, like, yeah. You know how people like you know like, if I ask you how old you say like yeah like if you at like say you ask like a professor like I a female professor that is yeah, it is for older women but it's like you know they make it like society makes it so like so that you can't ask any female or any woman their age because it's seen because it's seen as rude or disrespectful or some I, shit like that okay and okay I think what it is is men don't care about a lot of things i'm not even gonna lie we don't think a lot um we kind of just do things um and age i mean we we don't care you know when someone asks how old we are so you know that's one thing um so that's why it's never really rude to ask a guy how old he is because we don't care um when it comes to women the, uh, some women you know there's a lot of women that do care and even and and it's not and um to you know add on to you know your bit about you know the fact that it's usually older women it is usually older women but nowadays i'm starting to see like you know like like even younger women like in their 20s and stuff like that be like oh why do you care da, da, da. like like and or like get a little defensive and whatnot like like how about you just like, it's not like it's not like you're and right like like because 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 like say like that shouldn't need to be known because a lot of these girls be like you know 16 looking you know 19 and whatnot and and, and it'd be like and it'd be kind of crazy you know what i mean like a dude will come up to right right like okay because i work at chick-fil-a right um and he got no customer service cap at all. cap i i'm told, i have god tier i have god to tier. To i didn't tell anybody to we talked about it after yeah. everybody One was gone guys guys mm -hmm. calm down this manager is watching mike come here real quick this is off topic <laughs> mike come here real quick this is off <laughs> did it did it obvi told somebody to take your ass to didn't tell anybody then one of his co-workers say take your ass to popeyes they didn't tell anybody to we were we were closed already we were closed already Zero. Okay, back to, back to the subject. Yeah, like my, my bad, my bad, my bad. I just, I just. But back to the subject though, on some real. You know what I mean, um, this stuff does it, it needs to be cleared up, bro. Because, because, oh yeah, because like at my job, right? You know what I'm saying? This dude finishes order, and he and he was like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so you can give me that, and then give me her number. I was like, she is 17, and then he was like, oh damn, never mind. And so I was like, yeah, so so just we can be more transparent we, we we can be more transparent you know what i mean like yeah. like 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 now if it is really a problem to tell me how old you are then then the guy should just move on mm -hmm. you know but a lot of guys were stubborn you know i i, I have an idea that may like attribute to yeah me. so this is like not to be I mean, it's not really me being weird, but it's just something I thought of. It's just like back then, a lot of older men dated younger women, like okay. substantially younger. Like there was 20 year olds married to 13 year olds. So in a sense, it's just like maybe it makes it less weird that people don't know how old the woman is. That kind of like justifies it. Does that make sense? So it's like it's wrong. I'm not saying it's not wrong. I don't really personally care how like when people ask me my age because unless i'm somewhere like i completely can't be which is impossible because i'm old enough for basically anything unless it's like seeing your home li living you know but if someone were to be like how old are you i would tell them how old i am because it's just like 
you can't you can see and gouge if you want to continue to con conversate with me or some people are just like in my opinion not every conversation needs to be had with everybody so certain things i just don't feel comfortable talking to at people with certain ages that's just what it is i why would i talk to a 17 year old about sexual things and i'm 21 that's weird you know what i'm trying to say that's weird but some people like that hiddenness to it where it's just like yeah it's just like he doesn't know how old i am but i know how old he is kind of thing i'm just like that sounds a little it's like it's still predatory in my opinion you could be younger than someone and still be a predator you can still be a predator and they won't even know how old you are like some girl was like oh yeah my, my cousin actually was probably like 12 or something dating someone who was like 19 um sorry cousin don't didn't mean to out you like that but that's that's still wrong and i don't know but sometimes people don't even care that you're that old <laughs> so i don't even know who's at fault for this one i believe the parents are at fault for that one too but when you think about it in that aspect if a girl's trying to get up on somebody, I could see it being a problem. But when people age, I'm, I'm almost done. When people age, they want to feel like they look young. You know what I'm trying to say? They were like, oh, don't don't ask a woman how old she is. Because especially back then, women aged a lot faster because, like, I mean, like, old back, back, back then. Because they put, like, cyanide and shit on their face. So you'd be like, how old are you, 74? I am 36. Like, <laughs> people die young, too. So, yeah. So... So, um, last question, and this is like a good one, I guess. In my opinion, it is. Charlie. Like, which which gender is a more oppressed, male or female? Let me start. Oh God, <laughs> it's gonna be a long night. But it's gonna be a good one. No, 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 no. no. It, okay. To be honest, um, I feel like, all right. Throughout history, I'm gonna say women have been more oppressed, right? Um, nowadays, it's turning. I feel like women are still more oppressed, but guys are starting to like. For instance, it's become a bad thing to even be a guy. The phrase "kill all men," you know, all men are trash, rapists, and da 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 da. You know, and don't get me wrong, we're grown, so like, you know what I mean, I don't care. You know, we can handle that kind of you know but it gets fucking annoying at a certain point right and like when i was like and this kind of language blew up when i was you know what was it uh 13 right um i was coming into my manhood and i struggled with you know my masculinity because of the fact because of the negative perceptions of you know m being a man you know um most of my friends are females and da 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 and so you know i was like yeah you know fuck dudes and da da da, da like oh men suck and da, da da and you know like and they were like oh yeah but not you avi you know you're great 90 seconds left oh um damn um well um i just want to say life is a game you know some yeah life is a game Life is life is like a sandwich. No matter which way you flip it, the bread always comes first. Fiend. Okay. Um. In my opinion, it's women, but men still suffer from oppression. Bam. This has been Saturday Night Life with your host Sai Skillet and Casey the Poet and Glory over here. Big Dick Glow, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The, stir the sturdiest of them all. The, sturdy, the sturdiest of them all. I would fuck it up but not. Dude, it's your boy, Stay Positive Glow. Back with when we back with another vid full full today. We finna start asking people just some random ass questions. I don't even know what the fuck we doing this for. Walk with me, gang. What's up, nigga? What's up, motherfucker? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up?
Oh, where's your problem? Why are you touching me? Why are you bump into me? Damn! You let me get you back. Yeah. What's in there? Oh, hey, 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 hey. How you doing, sir? I am from Ohio. 